Hi, my name is Pastor Maurice Gashero coming to you on Gospel Talk. It's good to see you again. Can you remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe as we spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in a simple and understandable way. Today, I want to talk about God is your witness. God is your witness. I want to look at the book of John chapter 5. The Bible tells us in the book of John chapter 5 verse 32, Jesus is speaking here and he says, there is another who bears witness of me. And I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true, verse 36. But I have a greater witness than John's. For the works which the Father has given me to finish the very works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. You see, one, one of the wonderful things about our God is that He does not save us and then leave us alone. He doesn't save us, redeem us, set us free, and then leave us to continue in life by ourselves. After He saves us, He comes to live in us. He comes to empower us. He comes to guide us and lead us by His Spirit. And the Bible tells us another thing is that He came to be our witness that the Spirit of God is our witness. The Bible says Jesus speaking, He had been sent to do something, to do a job and to do a particular work by God. The work of revealing the Father and the work of saving the world. And the good thing is that the Father did not just send Him and let, let Him to come alone, but the Father was always present with Jesus Christ as His witness. Amen? As His witness. I love that. Now, what about me and you? We have come to believe in Him. We have accepted Him as Savior. We, we, he lives in us. But is He in us quiet? The Bible tells me in the book of Romans chapter 8 as I read, He says, chapter 8 verse 15, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption called the sonship producing spirit by whom we cry out of the Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. That's wonderful. He says that when the Spirit of God came into you, when the God comes and dwells and lives within you by his Spirit, one of the wonderful things that he does is that he becomes a witness within you that you have a witness within you, together with your spirit, you have a witness that when you cry out, Abba Father, when you worship God, when you talk to God, you talk to God with the witness of the Holy Spirit agreeing with your spirit. That witness is important. He is the one that gives us confidence. He is the one that reminds us He's the one that assures us within that we belong to God. He is the one that always awakens that consciousness that we belong to God. God has become a witness from within. The Bible says there are three witnesses in heaven and there are three witnesses on the earth. That the witness on the earth and the witness in heaven, they agree. And what is that witness saying? Number one, as I've said in Romans, that that witness of the Holy Spirit is witnessing that we are the children of God. And when we call Abba Father, He witnesses with us that truly God is our Father. The Bible says that because we are His children, in Galatians 4 verse 6, He has given us the Spirit of His Son so that we can rightfully call Him Father, the Spirit of God within us enables us to call God Father. So it's not an assumption, it's not presumption, it is the truth because we have become God's children. He also witnesses the things that God has done for us in Christ. He witnesses within us that our sins are forgiven. He becomes our witness from within that when we are now united with Christ, that God is no longer angry with us because our sins were punished. 
in Jesus Christ. He witnesses within us that God is not a God far away, that God is a God that dwells in his people. He witnesses within us that God will answer our prayer when we pray. He witnesses within us that we are no longer slaves of fear, but we've been set free and that God has broken every bondage in Christ. He witnesses within us that we are no longer cursed, but we are received every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Pay attention to the witness of God. Pay attention to what God is saying from within you because God is not speaking the things that his son has not done. He is speaking exactly what Jesus said. Remember, God is your witness. There are things, it's called the testimony of God. He witnesses that you're free, that you belong to him. If you're there and you're not born again, you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your savior, as your liberator, as your deliverer. It's simple. You believe the gospel with your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he has risen from the dead. And it's as easy as that. Let's pray. Father, I have heard about your love and what Jesus has done for me. Today, I accept the work of that cross. I accept the price that your son paid for me. I accept for his blood to cleanse me and to make me free. I accept your forgiveness. And I ask that that spirit that Pastor Morris has talked about, that wonderful spirit that the Bible talks about, may come and dwell within me and strengthen me and give that witness of freedom from within me. I accept Jesus today. I am saved and I am born again. Amen. Remember, get a Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church. Get a Christ-centered church. Get a church where you can be fed and where you can grow and fellowship with people and serve God in that church. God bless you so much. If you're there and you're sick, let me say a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke sickness. I rebuke infirmity. I rebuke complications in the body of your people. And I command every part of their body to align with the fixed, finished work of Jesus Christ. I rebuke you, infirmity, swellings, and tumors in Jesus' name. Be free and be whole. You are whole in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you next time. Kindly like, comment, share, and subscribe. Gospel Talk. God bless you.